Making the most impressive horror movies is nothing new for Jordan Peele. With the success of Get Out and Us, we expect nothing less from the upcoming film Nope, which is expected to follow the same line of horror with a cultural commentary on the side. The shooting for Nope has mostly been low-key. Here's what we know so far. First off, Nope will be an addition to the spectacle. In an interview, Jordan Peele stated that Nope would be an addition to the spectacle set up by his other movies, and we really hope it won't be any different. Peele set the bar pretty high, and we want to see more of his unique touch in this film. The film will focus mainly on the story of two siblings, played by Kiki Palmer and Daniel Kaluuya, who will be under a lot of pressure to live up to the standards set by previous Peele films. Second, most of the details of the film are top secret. If Peele just told us what we should expect, that would just kill all the fun, wouldn't it? That's why the filming for Nope has been super secretive. From the trailer, all we can guess is that some extraterrestrials might be involved. In an interview, Peele shared that he'd started off wanting to provide an immersive experience of being inside a UFO, but that's not all. The film's going to go much deeper into the UFO concept. Also, we'll definitely be delving into more black history. Prior to Us, which explores class inequality and dualism, and Get Out, which addresses racism, filmmaker Jordan Peele was able to make sharp social commentary while still crafting a terrifying thriller. With the appearance of a black man riding a horse in the trailer, it appears that Peele's going to explore the black culture and Hollywood production further. So what exactly does Peele mean when he says spectacle? When Peele says spectacle, it's a little more complicated than the word's literal meaning. The spectacle basically means dramatizing a genre or social commentary that Peele likes to explore so much. In this case, the treatment of black people. He stated that black people have historically always been made the center of attention and have frequently had negative attention drawn to them. That's why he wanted to take this addiction to spectacle and explore what exactly it meant about the oppression of black people. It's also about siblings healing their relationship. Peel added that the spectacleization of black people's lives, as well as their erasure, is the main focus of his film. Also, it's linked to the Mui Bridge clip. If you haven't seen the trailer yet, the clip of the black man on the horse is actually referred to as the Mui Bridge clip. It refers to the very first time pictures were put together to make a film. This film's basically Peel's way of responding to the Mui Bridge clip. He added that no one really knew anything about the person in the Mui Bridge clip, only about Edward Mui Bridge, who'd made it. The guy could be anyone, and by drawing attention to him, Peel takes a new approach to the Mui Bridge clip. Moving on, what are some fan theories about the film? Despite a few full-length trailers and some sly promotion, Nope has still a mystique surrounding it. In other words, fans are unable to resist deciphering the significance behind the scant amount of footage and plot points we have, much as how you can find patterns in the sky if you look hard enough. Cast members Kiki Palmer, Brandon Perea, Steven Yoon, and Daniel Kaluuya dissect some of the wackiest fan ideas from Reddit in a brand new video hosted by Vanity Fair. One idea centers on the fear of being pulled into the sky, which, based on the trailer, isn't entirely implausible. Palmer's character is repeatedly shown being vacuumed up into the skies by what appears to be an alien spaceship before being put back down. Still, we aren't really certain about that. Another fan hypothesis connected Palmer's character to MMA fighter Angela Hill, but no one in the cast could explain how this Redditor immediately made that connection. One popular idea is that the different townspeople, including Kaluuya and Palmer's brother and sister roles, as well as the grotesquely deformed lady in the veil who appears in the teaser, are actually aliens who have lived on Earth for so long that they've forgotten they're not human. Palmer also stated that it's a terrific movie, implying that this isn't the case. Up next, Jordan Peele wants to break out of the box. In the interview, Peele added that he wanted a unique take on the UFO narrative and that he was hoping for a black perspective on sci-fi. He was aiming to break out of the box that the world often put black people in. The limited roles and personalities that they were perceived as is something that Peele's hoping to challenge, and we don't doubt for a second that he'll manage to do it. He added that black people have rarely been featured in a UFO film, and that his race does add to what he creates because it affects him deeply. He shared that in this day and age, it was very exciting for a black director to be able to make the films they wanted to make, but it wouldn't have been possible to do that five years ago. Peele mentioned that when he first started off as a director, there were a lot of restrictions on what he could create because he needed funding from other people. That kind of makes sense since most of the time, the people funding movies are white and rich. Okay, so who's going to be the movie's villain? Nope appears to be exploring the deeper supernatural components of the horror genre, including a whole subset of possible enemies that Jordan Peele has yet to face in his feature work. If aliens are the main adversaries in Nowhere, it gives up a whole new universe of interesting symbolism for Jordan Peele to explore. Filmmakers have employed extraterrestrial life as a stand-in for the other innumerable films from 1982's E.T. the Extraterrestrial to 2016's Arrival. Peele may have been inspired by this illustrious history when he produced Nope. Though aliens are the most obvious supernatural creature to torment Nope at the moment, it's possible that the flying saucer seen in the previously released trailers only a tactic of deception in one preview for the upcoming film, a woman stares at the sky with a skeleton face. While it's unknown what this may represent, the visual is undeniably awful. Given that the plot centers around a bizarre collection of random things that fall from the sky, an obvious opponent would be an interdimensional invader. Another reality might explain the bizarre collection of things that begins to fall onto the horse ranch,
branch, owned by the film's characters. On the other hand, the villain in Nope doesn't have to be supernatural. If Jordan Peele's old horror movies are any indication of what's to come, we, the moviegoers, might be the true villain of the future film. The antagonist in 2017's Get Out is liberal racism. The villain in 2019's Us is a group of disadvantaged people who are slaughtered at the end of the film for attempting to raise their awareness. It's unclear what message Nope's narrative will aim to convey. Perhaps the erratic wind and odd falling things seen in Nope's trailers are about our relationship with the Earth. Perhaps the arrival of the as-yet-unknown aliens on the protagonist's family property will serve as a grist for a debate about property rights and capitalism. Who knows? The narrative of Nope remains a mystery, which is precisely what Jordan Peele wanted. Nope's almost certainly going to be highly intellectual. Even after leaving the theater, moviegoers may not have a clear picture of the film's actual villain. Regardless, moviegoers can count on Jordan Peele to create a morally complicated opponent, whether alien, ghostly, or humanistic in origin. Finally, can we call this movie a traditional horror movie? While aspects of Jordan Peele's latest film, Nope, are steeped in the supernatural, the story revolves around a group of people who believe they've seen a UFO. The film ultimately works in the genre of horror that Peele has excelled in at recent years, but he told us he wanted to try something new with this one, calling it horror for those who aren't particularly fans of typical horror movies, which helps to explain the film's strange title. Let's be honest, none of the horrific aspects of the previous Peele films was the kind that is typical of horror movies. If anything, Peele suggests that white people in horror movies might find monsters in the forest or vengeful spirits terrifying. For black people, white people are the horror. This means that whatever we see in this movie will be very different from what we're used to in other horror movies. With so many problems in today's day and age, it could really be anything. Following the previous cinematic event teaser from a few weeks ago, Universal published another fascinating behind-the-scenes featurette for Jordan Peele's film Nope. This one concentrates on the team that worked on this gigantic sci-fi extravaganza, including a look at the IMAX and 65mm cameras used to film it. IMAX cameras, as everyone knows from Christopher Nolan's films, are significantly larger and heavier, requiring totally separate setups. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think will be the main focus of the new Jordan Peele film? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.